general hungry person and master chef essay winner comedy path are in studio with me and we are going to be talking about unusual food pairings thank you so much for coming in it's only a pleasure this is one of my favorite topics i have to admit <laughs> i'm very excited about it i actually ate lunch before the show because i was like I'm going to be so hungry when we talk about this. You've done this, this before, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get right into the first one. This was an odd combination when I first saw <laughs> it. Why don't you tell us what it is? Um, it's cauliflower and white chocolate ice cream. It's actually uh, from Matt Moran, who is an Australian MasterChef judge at the moment. And it's a strange combination, but I actually got two dishes out of this because I uh, boiled the cauliflower in milk for the ice cream and mm -hmm. <laughs> then I added the white chocolate and put it in the yeah. churner. And then I got to have a cauliflower gratin as well, because I had this leftover cauliflower. Wow, and what does it taste like? Because you think cauliflower, and then you think white chocolate ice cream, and you're like, mm -mm. It's a bizarre thing. Your brain, like, tweaks around it. You've just got to try it. And if you want to try it at home, how can people go about making it? Uh, one head of cauliflower, <laughs> a little bit of milk. Actually, you'd use a general ice cream recipe, the same amount of milk and cream. Yeah. Um, put the cauliflower in there, boil it till it's soft. And then just smash it together. You don't actually have bits of cauliflower in it, you kind of want the uh, hint of cauliflower. Because okay. it's a strange thing, you sort of eat it and you get the white chocolate first and then you get like this afterthought of cauliflower. That sounds very divine. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, what's our next one? The next one is uh, peanut butter on toast with fresh tomato and black pepper. Wow, how did you come across <laughs> this? <laughs> um, my little cousin told me this one day and I think he was three or four at the time and I thought well let's test it out and I did and it's it's really really good I don't know something about the acidity of the tomato yeah. and the sort of creaminess of the peanut butter it's breakfast tomorrow that's what you've got to have. Yum! Three-year-olds <laughs> have the best advice I think. <laughs> Completely. Yeah <laughs> okay what's the next one? The next one is grilled banana with a full English breakfast. Now this is a very South African thing because mm. we really like our sort of savory and sweet stuff together but uh, banana is really high in sugar and we all know that sweet stuff with bacon and salty and sweet really go well together. Yummy. Delightful. Mm -hmm. How do you grill the bananas? Uh, pan, a little bit of butter, olive oil, stick it in there until it gets like all caramelized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. Tomorrow for breakfast I'm probably going to have like, three or four different <laughs> I No, I see that, I see that. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? The next one somehow relies on bacon yet again. Uh, it's Bacon should be in everything. I agree. I don't, yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so a friend of mine in Cape Town actually is a confectioner and she made this uh, brittle, and I forget if it was peanut butter, or sorry, peanuts, um, or if it was macadamians, but okay. she added crispy bacon to it. And again, the salt with the sweet mm -hmm. and the nuttiness uh, was just great, and you got your head of bacon. <laughs> exactly. If, if I could have bacon with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would. As would I. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're on to something. And what's our last, final, unusual food pairing? Well, this is one of those things, you know, you kind of um, was having people over for tea on Sunday, and I thought, well, what do I have in my fridge that I could serve them? And so I ended up with some phyllo pastry, some brie, some fennel, and a bit of honey. And it was a really great combination because I just rolled out the phyllo pastry, added um, strips of brie, mm -hmm. and then um, braised the fennel with a little bit of honey in it. Mm -hmm. And it, it was phenomenal. I'm obsessed with fennel, that like lightly licorice flavor. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yummy. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to go eat again now. But thank you so much for joining me in studio. And I'm going to be sure to try out that toast with peanut butter and tomato for breakfast. Tomorrow. You do that. You let me know how it goes. I will. <laughs>